Good day, good morning. Uh, it was about eight o'clock in the morning and it's milder than it has been, but it's still cold and there's a storm on the way and it's very windy. We've found stuff all around, all around the hillsides and that, in the fields. But there's a little tiny field on top my theory is there's, there's probably a settlement up there or always has been a settlement on top of the hill so we're going to go and have a look it depends how olive gets on though because there's calf hutches up there and uh for some reason she's got a real beef with cows <laughs> uh, um so if she's a nightmare then i'll come back down and do the hillsides again but i will see you on the first signal Right, very first uh, decent signal of the day. I had a, a couple of others, uh, but scraps of lead and another ear tag. But this one was a solid sort of 41. I can see it's reasonably deep as well. And it's first coin of the day. Sweet. That's good. Um... I'm using my microphone and I haven't tested it, <laughs> so hopefully you can hear me. It looks like it's a half penny. Um, I don't know what sort of age. It's got a bit of age to it, but pretty pretty well tasted. Quick rub. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good start though. It's definitely an old half penny. Yeah, cool. It is. Blowing an absolute go out here. There's a there's a storm on the way. Tomorrow's supposed to be worse. But it's mild, which is good. Um next one, really scratchy, really sort of dodgy 32, but it was really deep, which is promising. You see that? Well, I've scooped it came out on the last scoop. And it's there. It's probably rubbish. No, it's an old spectacle buckle. Broken though, unfortunately. Yeah, you love spectacle buckles, don't you, Olive? You can get that stain instead. Yeah, okay, so there's old stuff here. I'm in I'm in that new field, so that's a good sign. Possibly a bit of medieval scattered about, maybe some hammies, but we'll see. That's not for you, Olive. That's for you. Yeah, let's keep going. Another nice signal, another 42 actually. And again, it's it's quite deep. It's right there. Should really be using my digging tool for this. It's so windy, my detector keeps uh, falling off my shovel. You can see it, probably rubbish. Yeah, let's get the Let's get my digging tool on it. I'll come back with my digging tool. Right, okay. So it wasn't that difficult to get out, but... <sighs> yeah. Just scrap. Olive, you don't want this, trust me. You can have this, look. Go and get that. <sighs> Some days she just drives me crazy. But yeah, whatever that is, straight in the scrap bucket. Go on in. Right, so I've come down um, right at the bottom of the hill now. Still really windy. Um, but just said this, 26. Just see it in there. Looks like a little pistol shot. Yep. Little lead pistol shot. I've done this field quite a few times, but... Things do tend to pop up still, so we do this one, and then there's one right at the back, which is a bit of a trek to get to, but I've never done it, so we'll give that one a go as well. All right, so I don't know if you can see, that's where I had the musket ball. So no, not far away, this is a 28, and this it's only a little pewter button, tom back button, but... It's interesting that like each field here seems to bring up like different sort of eras of history. Because that's probably around the same time as that pistol shot. Um, but then you do get hammers chucked into the mix as well. So 
who knows? And this is what I've got to deal with. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> but, uh, yes, yeah, crack on. I've got to say, having the legend back fixed is brilliant. And my faith is being gradually restored in it. I've partially filled in that hole now, but you can kind of see how deep it was. And that was right in the bottom of it. Big old button. But it was deep, so yeah, I'm happy. I'm making my way over to that backfield slowly. There's a lot of iron in this field, but um, yeah, we're getting there. All right, next one. Uh, what was this? 32, something like that. Uh, looks like a military button. Um, and it's perfect time to, hopefully I can do this one-handed, get this out. <laughs> Look at that. My little brush tool. Probably can't do this bit one-handed, though. It's going to be tricky. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I know it's a military button. Oh, that's actually got some nice detail on it. Um, well, I don't want to really clean it here. I'll clean it properly at home, put it on the screen. That looks good. Well, certainly tougher digging in this field. Um, <laughs> look at the mess. They're going to be filled in. But it does look like we've got the second coin of the day. Again, this looks pretty tasted. Olive, look, just go away. <laughs> it's been actually quite good um, up until now. It looks like another half penny. And it's probably, looking at it, George V, maybe? I don't know. Hard to tell. I'm going to clean that and come back to you if I can get an ID on it. No, well, I was wrong. It's not George V. It's Edward VII. Yeah. Can't see a date on it, but it's Edward VII, so half, half penny. Nice. Well, there's coins in there. Keep going. was starting to get a little bit sort of uh i don't know you call on your patience don't you after a while uh but this was a really nice 42 and it's green it looks old please be something good oh it is oh, it's very good no this isn't for you olive you can have this though go and get that it look oh yeah we've got a nice Really nice spectacle buckle, and it's still, it's still got that, um, sort of buckle plate. That's the word I'm looking for. Nice. I'll give it a bit of a brush up. That is sweet. All right. So I've, I've given it a bit of a clean up. Uh, clean it properly when I get home. But um, yeah, it's. <laughs> Nicest find so far, that's for sure. Look at that. Decoration. Just real nice little buckle, that. Still in perfect working order. Look at that. Crazy. All it takes sometimes is a find like this to just, I don't know, it just restores your faith in metal detecting. Because <laughs> I was starting to, I was getting cold. Uh, just finding rubbish and then something like that comes along yeah very very nice excellent and it also restores your faith in the field you're in as well because uh, if you find something like that god knows what else there could be so let's keep looking right next signal very close to that buckle actually Buckles there. We've got 
another little musket ball. Um, I was going to attempt to live dig at this one because I thought, Olive, go away. <laughs> I thought, well, found something like that buckle. It's bound to be something good. The trouble is, it is so windy. I tried it, and he, even with a microphone, it's just, uh, I watched the video back, and it's horrendous. So, sorry, guys. I will endeavour to uh, do more live digs in the future, but I, when I watch other videos, I, I quite like the not digging, or well, not seeing the digging. And I think it's just more sort of rapid fire, you know, finds. Um, cram more in that way, I think. But what do you guys like? If you guys want to see live digs, comment. Comment away. Um, yeah, if you want to see me do that, let me know. I'm sure I could sort someone out in the future, more cram more live digs into it. But yeah, any feedback's welcome, guys. So yeah, little musket ball. Hopefully you're on the good stuff. Let's carry on. All right, next one. <laughs> um about 38, and I think, I think it's an old, like, padlock or something. Unfortunately, I think the back of it is uh, disintegrating. Let's just give it a quick clean on my trousers. Yeah, pretty sure it might be some sort of a tag, but, yeah, it may possibly, I don't know. I'll clean it properly, because it, if it is a padlock, I guess it might have something like some mechanism in there so yeah pretty cool keep going all right this one horrible signal about 29 <laughs> and it's there pinpoint has found it there it's gonna be trash that can't be it surely it's heavy some sort of molten bit of metal. Leaving it's bronze. It's not quite heavy enough for that, but it is that and it is yeah, I mean Olive don't like it. I don't like it. On for the scrap. But yeah, that's definitely like a molten bit of metal. You can have that bit. Yeah. Rubbish. <sighs> 50,000 cow tubes later, and we're on to something green. Um, see that? It looks green. And it looks old. Uh, what was this? I think it's like a 38 signal. Oh, my God. Are they? <laughs> Please be what I think you are. Oh, I think it is as well. This is my first... Well, not my first, but my first intact. Oh, I don't believe it. Amazing. We're on the Roman. Pretty sure that's got to be, that's got to be a fibula. Sorry about my shoddy f filming, but man, Olive, you, <laughs> you're not having this. Look, I tell you what, Olive, you have that because that's much better. Oh, I don't believe it. That's, that is a fibula brooch, a Roman fibula brooch. And that is the best. I've only ever found fragments of these. I've got to give that a clean and come back. That, oh, that's amazing. And I did not expect that. Jeez. Awesome. Right, that's getting clean. I'll be back. Yep, I do not believe it. Look at that. That is a Roman fibula brooch. It would have actually been worn that way up. Because um, I always thought they they went like that. But apparently not. They, they're that way, but who cares? <laughs> I don't believe it. That's just, that's so cool. Look at that. You see the springs in there? There's no, um, there's no sort of uh, pin bit, but look at that. How old is that? Probably close to 2,000 year. I don't know. Amazing, though. 
<laughs> Patience pays off. It really does. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, definitely getting tired now. <laughs> Been at it for hours. I've taken the mic off just so you can hear probably how windy it is. Ah, just found a hook. I switched to four kilohertz. Um, recovery speed three for anyone that cares. <laughs> just to uh, just to give it, give it a go really. So I'm gonna do probably another half an hour. Then we'll call it a day. Go home, and clean everything up. Right, we're gonna end on this one because well, I said I was gonna try and make a long video, but well, it's certainly been a long day. But yeah, this is definitely the last, the last signal. And um, I was sure it was gonna be lead because it was a uh, twenty-eight, and all the twenty-eight so far have been lead. But it's green, and it's looking. It's looking like a little thimble. Um, I'll give that a clean because that could actually be a beehive thimble, medieval thimble. I'll, I'll give it a clean up. Not there, you go, folks. What a way to end a day's digging. If I can just focus on that, look at that. That is an absolutely beautiful little medieval beehive thimble just stunning i mean i don't know sort of like the precise date on that but just look at the detail on that and it's pristine i'm going to keep the soil inside it but oh i just can't believe how nice that is the indentations are really sort of deep on it as well i know olive it's good it's good isn't it <laughs> what a find just stand up uh, try and just that's amazing absolutely oh, I'm blown away by that it's been a it's been a day of artifacts I reckon who needs hammers and well everyone needs hammers but just oh, love it love it Okay, time for a bit of a roundup then. Um, so what was that? That was about six and a half hours of detecting, pretty much non-stop. I stopped briefly for something to eat and to give Olive some water. But um, yeah, we'll start with the, the scrap. Usual bits of alley, foil, nails, plenty of cow tubes, shotty ends. Obviously, most of them coming up as a fairly... Nice diggable signal, keyhole cover there. Lead, plenty of lead. Sorry about the light, I'm still waiting on getting the light sorted. And then you've got these sort of party facty bits, like part of a harmonica reed. If anyone knows what that is, let me know in the comments. It's, I think it's obviously a lid for something, possibly. Um, a little iron wedge, I'm not sure what that's all about pipe stem, the hook, and then, yeah, you sort of, you fight your way through the junk, and eventually, <laughs> you're rewarded, um, so, yeah, plenty of buttons today, Cup, a musket ball, a little pistol shot, only a couple of coins, old buckle, and then gradually, slowly but surely, nice stuff starts turning up, um, try and get a bit of a better light on it. Uh, I think this padlock, I think it's uh, 18th century, it might be earlier. I'm not sure, I haven't got a proper ID on that. Um, we've got a Royal Marines Light Infantry, possibly World War I. I'm not sure, though. I haven't got a full ID on that either. Really nice buckle. Um, yeah, really chuffed with that. Trying to get some better light. But. Still got the buckle plate attached. I never really see that. Maybe once or twice. But um, yeah, that's probably my favourite find of the day. 
lovely beehive, medieval beehive thimble. Really nice. Nicely worked, a bit of history that. Yeah, my voice is a bit croaky because I'm just tired and probably getting ill. <laughs> uh, and this beautiful little Roman fibula, my first, well, minus the pin, my first intact one. I'm really pleased with the spring there. Yeah, so I'll give these more of a delicate clean and then, um, and then a bit of a wax or whatnot, but yeah. Pretty decent dig. So thanks for watching, as usual, guys. I'll see you on the next one.